Hi, this is Steve on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to talk about optical drives. Optical drives in our computer are either a DVD or a CD reader or burner. And today I'm going to teach you how to take one out and put another one back in. So let's get started. Before we replace our DVD or CD burner, there's one thing we have to know. When you go to the store and you purchase one or you get one online, they all look the same from the front. And certainly you want to get a DVD or a CD or a combo of the two. But the trick is to look at the back and make sure you know what you're buying. There are two styles to it. One is called a SATA, which is on the top. I hope. Let me see. Yep. And there's an IDE, which is here on the bottom. So it's either a SATA or an IDE. Once you know what kind of um, package to buy of an optical drive, you're ready to open up your computer. For this demonstration, I brought out a Pavilon HP. It has a thumb screw in the back. We're just going to twist that off. Now just because this is an HP doesn't, doesn't mean it's not like yours. Uh, a lot of these are all the same, so once you get inside, they all work the same and they look pretty much the same too. I've taken the cover off by sliding it to the rear. This is what's inside. If you look up towards the front, you'll notice that this section right here contains all your optical drives and your hard drive and there's extra spots in here that are available if you want to put future drives in this. After you've located the drive inside your computer, mine's here at the top, the first thing I want to do is remove this cover off the front and you can do that by pushing down on these latches and at the same time pulling forward on the cover. Just like that. This here is our drive. You can probably see that sticking out. And there's a latch right here that you can lift up and this will pull right out. Now you notice that there's two wires on it. By pulling those wires off the back, I can then pull the drive right out the front. Now when you buy a new one, this happens to be the SATA brand, if, when you buy a new one from the store, you'll notice on the side of our replacement one that we don't get these special screws. You're going to have to take the screws off the old one and put them on the new one right up here. Do that on all four corners. And then it's just a matter of taking your new one, making sure the face plate is right side up. Finding the groove. Sometimes you have to mess with it a little bit. Push it in until it pops, just like that. And when you have these out, it's a good idea to take a look at the wires and see how they go on. There's always a diagram of the wires inside the packaging in case you're in doubt. Once I get the wires hooked back up and my CD slid back in, I want to put the bottom of this in first. Lifting up on it so I can hinge upward. And just push in like that. Last thing I want to do, put the cover on. Push in. Tighten my thumb screw just like that. So that's it. That's how you replace the optical drive in your computer. When you first turn the computer up, it might um, notice that you have new hardware and load a few drivers. Just answer yes to the questions and you'll be in good shape. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of the Guru Brew and next time you have an optical drive that you need replacing, you'll go for it and feel more comfortable on your computer. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.